Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the built-in report in TestNG. So TestNG provides you with the built-in report and that is, you know, available as soon as your test suite runs. You will get the status of the execution and the details of your test cases in that particular report. So this is the class that I have created to demo the report. So reports test and I have just added dummy test cases, right? With the four annotations, so four test cases. So test one, report to test two, three, and four. And what I'm doing here is I'm just printing out these statements on the console, right? So sysout system.out.println is, uh, you know, the statement that will, you know, print the output in the console. and it, this doesn't get printed into the report so let me run this and see the uh, output of this in the console and as well as in the report or the default report that gets created so you can see that all the statements that i provided as the print statements have been printed here and the status of the test cases is passed and in the right hand side you will see the default you know like the output of this particular execution if you refresh uh, you know the project you will see a folder getting created which is the test output right now you can customize this location um, you can specify where this uh, folder gets created and what the name of this folder is that is possible as well uh, but this is the default report that gets created and if you open this index.html file it will give you the results of what many methods were there how many passed fail etc and if i click on show methods it will show all the methods if you go to the reporter output here there is nothing uh, to display right so the statements that we have printed uh, for the particular test case this is test one two and three four this is for the console say so nothing you know gets printed out in the report unless until you update either you implement the listener or you specify uh, the actual reporter.log so you you need to so test ng also provides the reporter class so you can simply say reporter dot log okay and then specify the statement that you want to get printed in the report so i if i want this statement to be printed in the report i simply have to say reporter.log and specify the uh, statement that i want to be printed in the report right and you have to import org.testng.reporter okay so if i remove this you will see that this is highlighted so you just need to import reporter org.testng okay so this class will help you to get these log messages into your report so if i run it again and refresh the report so it has run successfully let me refresh it and open index.html again and go to reporter output and you can see that for for reporter test 2 the this is test 2 statement that we have specified in our you know uh, test case itself as reporter.log got printed right now you will use reporter.log for specific tests only if you want to print these statements uh, you know which are very specific to the particular test and are not generic so if you say for example you have 500 test cases and you want to print something uh, which is common across all the 500 test cases say for example the method name or test case name or the status of the execution in the report then this is not feasible to keep adding reporter.log in each of those 500 test cases and uh, that's where uh, you know listeners come in picture and you can implement listener to print these statements in your execution based on the test suite that is being executed okay so if we go to the details here of the documentation so here you can see logging and results so this is the test test ng documentation and here you can see you can implement the listener or reporters so reporter uh you know class we can simply use reporter.log and specify the statement that we want to print for a specific test case but if it is very generic and every test case needs to print something before it starts or finish then we'll use listener to implement these statements in our reports okay so 
how we'll implement listener we'll simply use the same i test listener so the listener that we have used before as well so if i go to this listeners uh, class right here instead of system uh, dot out dot print ln so for example on test start i want to print a generic you know um, a statement always whenever a test case starts in that particular test suite right so what i can i'll say is simply say reporter dot log okay and provide the string that you want to get printed okay so here say so for example i want to print um, prior to every test uh, execution or every test start i want to print the name of the method that is getting started right or test execution that is getting started so uh, i can say uh, method name is and here what we'll do is we'll simply use result okay so i test result uh, and here you can call the methods that are available here so you can say simply get name will give you the name of the method that will be executing or prior to getting test started right so what this statement will do is uh, prior to starting every test case it will print the name of the method that is being executed okay and similarly say for example on test success you want to print the status of the execution right so i can simply say reporter.log and then you can say status of execution is and it will print the status of the execution so we can simply say result dot get status right so it will return the internal status that is stored and will print the status and if we go to this particular reporter class uh, we'll see so here if we go in this particular uh, java docs you will see that this i test result interface right so this is the i test result right so this stores all the details of the result okay this is the interface and this has the different methods right which we which we are invoking so getting the name if we click on that it will um uh just give me a sec get name then go through okay so this name is the the name of this test result typically identical to the name of the method okay so it will return the name of the method and if we check the other so get status what this does is it will return the status of this result using one of the constants above okay so what are the constant so constant field value if we go and check the constant field value if the result has started it will print 16 if the result is successful or the test case is successful it will print one okay so these are some of the key methods that you can utilize when configuring your reporter.log and configuring listener to print different you know attributes or print different uh, results of a particular test case and these methods if you go through you will uh, you can start you know figuring out that a lot of things if you just keep practicing around these methods you will be able to learn a lot how you can configure these methods and use so for example get instance get host so all of these methods will return uh, the relevant information that you can print in your particular test case okay so here i have implemented this listener and now this listener needs to be called from the test suite which has this particular test case report test right so let me include this particular test in one of our test suite say for example test ng i'll simply change it to reports test right and here i'll say test name as reports testing and remove this statement here i'm not using any parameter and listener is common dot listeners where we have implemented these statements right reporter dot log and status of the execution so getting the status now because i have implemented listener in this particular test ng xml and this class has been you know configured to 
have this particular listener so the test cases in this particular class will always be uh, you know applicable for the listener and listener will keep checking uh, the status of these test cases and based on that you know it will return the output accordingly so if i run this test suite now and see the results the results will be a bit different as we had used before okay so you can see because of the listener test starting test starting is getting printed right and this is the statement that we have added let me go to listeners uh, so test starting uh, is being printed because of the uh, you know statements sys out statement that we have done now reporter dot log statement will print the statements in the reports okay so if i just you know refresh the whole folder go to the test output and go to index.xml uh, html and you will see these four methods go to reporter output and you can see that method name is reporter dot reporter test and status of execution got printed one right and here there was one more statement that i have added and that is why it is coming from the test case the actual test case that we have added right in test number two so you can see after implementing the reporter.log statements in the listener all four test cases are getting you know these messages being printed so a status of that particular method is being returned and printed uh, the name is returned and printed accordingly and we don't have to go to each and every test case and implement these you know statements for reporter.log now there is another html file which is emailable report in the built-in test engine report which will also give you the messages that we have specified in the listeners or the specific test cases so here you can see method name getting printed status getting printed then for second test case same thing happening third and fourth the other report to notice here is basically uh, if we go to the default um, suite and go to default test.xml this is another you know format that is available that that will uh, give you the results for the specific suite that you have executed right so this is all about the default reports in testng and how you can you know, customize it a little bit using uh, the reporter uh, statements and print your own logs within the report there are many other possibilities that you can perform with this particular report for example you can add the links uh, of the screenshot to your uh, you know uh, results and uh, then you can also print you know like the pdf report so that is all possible and you can go through you know this documentation here test ng documentation uh, and go to you know logging and results and read out uh, the other possibilities that you can go through and customize this particular report now this is you know like the basic report there are many better reports out there that will understand in future tutorials and uh, so that is why i'm not getting you know too much detail into this particular report i'm just explaining this as part of this series so that you are aware that test ng by itself provides the report which you can utilize if you do not want to use any external reports as such okay so that's all about the reports in testng hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching